What is moving lately? The U.S. unemployment rate has a chart. And as we can see from the past cycles, whenever the U.S. unemployment rate starts to break above their downtrend line, crisis occurred. And we can see that during the dot-com cycle, the U.S. housing cycle, the pre-COVID cycle, and now it seems like it's an AI cycle. And we're going to study into the implication of this higher U.S. unemployment rate this time around. And how would that affect the interest rates and the stock markets? My name is Kong Hao. My work in this channel is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into today's subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And let's look at the past cycle. We have the dot-com boom. And because of the boom, it created a lot of jobs. Therefore, the unemployment rate is on the downtrend. And then we saw that itself, it broke above this downtrend line. And that's where we have the dot-com bus. And something about the Nasdaq peak, and that was before it broke its own downtrend line. Now, I have to say that sometimes the stock markets may peak before, but sometimes maybe after the unemployment numbers broke above its downtrend line. And, but the focus is not on the timing of when the stock market peak because there's always lead and lag of the market. But the focus should be on the unemployment rate is on the climb. And let's look at another example here during the housing bubble. That means the housing transaction is hot and it kind of created a lot of jobs and we saw that the unemployment number is falling, but it broke above its own downtrend line and we saw that nasdaq peak after it broke above this downtrend line in october 2007 and then we have the wall street meltdown in famous wall street meltdown in 2008 and then of course in the recent years i think we're still very familiar with the pre-covid rally and then everything happened very fast with the covid i think i'll skip this example i'm just going to move into the current cycle and we saw that now we have an AI boom. It created a lot of jobs, but unemployment just picked up. And we saw that it just broke above this downtrend line. And I'm going to use this peak because uh, I would say that to use this uh, is a little bit abnormal. And things start to get into normality somewhere around here. And let's look at how I'm going to plot this line here. Instead of using that peak, uh, when the market starts to get into normality, I think I prefer to use this pick instead. And I'm going to connect here. And we could see that the unemployment rate suddenly kind of just went up. And this was the COVID pick. But uh, let's zoom down into the recent years where the market get into normality. That unknowingly over the past few months, the uh, unemployment rate start to age up, especially during this period from March to current June latest number and what is it telling us is that that discuss about the good and bad news of a pending unemployment uptrend and that's what we're seeing here and the good is that um the coming fomc meeting on the 31st of july now because of this higher unemployment rate we may expect a 25 basis point cut soon than in september meeting that's what i'm seeing expecting a 25 basis point cut in end of July than in September. Why? Because with a higher unemployment, this also means that it's a slower business activities. And it makes sense for the Fed to reduce interest rates soon as the inflation has also declined to 3%. And that make it cheaper for the business to borrow and in the hope to keep the economy in momentum that's what i think and how about the bad of a pending unemployment uptrend and the unemployment is an indicator of the economy it can be leading indicator for the stock market as well and that's let's look at what happened to the stock market and for this analysis on the parallel lines 
and the parallel channel we did this in june and then was about twenty thousand. and i'm expecting that the nasdaq to hit somewhere around twenty one thousand. and it did on the 11th of july and then i say that it depends on the reaction of the market when it hit my target at around twenty one thousand. and we saw that is pretty reactive and what i'm going to do here is that i suspect that the market are hitting some resistant moving forward and i'm not surprised to see great volatility to come and maybe the market is heading downwards and we're, i'm going to explain why what are my biggest worries the higher unemployment rate that we're seeing is also telling us that economy is slowing with a slowing economy and perhaps an unexpected u-turn in inflation numbers the formula is this slow growth plus inflation is equal to stagflation it is the greatest enemy among all in the financial markets the market are always telling us on their next move stay tuned for my coming tutorial remember to subscribe to my channel join us in our weekly case study and discussion click on my profile icon or description below to find out more feel free to leave me any comments below i love to exchange ideas with you really happy that you stay through this tutorial you have many great training weeks ahead.